Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. Now today's video is going to be a review of a wax vendor called Jaded Scents. I was lucky enough to have them contact me to see if I wanted to review some of the lovely wax goodies and of course I obliged. I absolutely, absolutely love trying new wax vendors from the UK. You know, I think it's always really, really good to try new people and new companies because, you know, even though I do like wax tarts from the usual, you know, like Yankee Candle and Goose Creek, I always, always think it's good to broaden your horizons and try new people and new companies. So I will list her company details in the description box below. If you want to check her out, she's on Facebook, Instagram, and if you go onto her Facebook page, Page, there is actually a shop now button and you can click on there and you'll be redirected to her website so I've already done a haul on all of these if you want to have a look at this the haul first before you see my review feel free I'll try and link it down below for you if I remember I'm sometimes a bit poor at remembering to do things like that but otherwise just have a look in my recent videos if you search it jaded scent it should come up so everything first of all came to me in this cute little box like that and had the sort of little jaded scent label on the front so i knew it was all from her but i haven't i have now melted through every single scent every single scent so i thought it's time i do a review and when I, she contacted me she did actually ask what kind of scents i like and if any of you know me you are gonna know that i love bakery sweetie scents so that is indeed definitely what I got. So I'm going to go through all of these now. I got some brittles and some sort of shot pot kind of things but what I also got was a gorgeous gorgeous little spoon to scoop the wax out if you want. So let me just show you first of all if I can find it in here. I have the little spoon which was absolutely adorable. So she, I haven't actually used it because it's just too damn cute. So she sent me this gorgeous little spoon. I'll try and you know show it up a bit closer to the camera so you can all see it. But this is so, so sweet. So, so cute. Don't know if you can see the detailing on that because what happened, so obviously sometimes I get too close to lights kind of flash it out. But it's so, so, so sweet. The little Diamante diamondy thing on the top. I think that's absolutely, absolutely lovely. But too cute to use. But anyway, so I'm gonna go through all of these here. I have, like I said to you, I have some brittles which came to me in these resealable bags like this so i have three different brittles see all lovely colors and i have how many sort of shop potty kind of scents one two three four five six shop pots so let's just go through things so in when i got the box what came in with it was obviously instructions for you you have like a little um card labely type thing little leaflet sort of saying how to use all of your wax and then she also puts it in now her little business card let me try and find it for you so she put that in there and i'll try and oh, underneath all the bits and bobs let me just find it here it is so oh i just dropped it on the floor hold on one second so she's got a lovely business card and on the back is this gorgeous gorgeous glitter really really cute and on the front is her oh sorry she knows i've got her sort of business card so if you want to screenshot that for her details feel free so it's lovely and shiny and gorgeous so first of all what i wanted to say was how impressed i was with the presentation of everything i really do think that's important because when you buy wax for yourself it's like a gift isn't it for yourself in you know and it's so exciting opening new wax that's what i think anyway and i love it when i receive um packages that i pay for or whatever and they're really presented well oh that bring that sort of makes the experience a lot better isn't it because it's about the whole experience obviously it's lovely burning the wax and it's making your home smell absolutely lovely but it's all really i think it also adds to the experience of it always when you get a package and it's nicely presented you know and it's not a be all and everything i'm not saying that but it's really nice to have something that's really really cute to open i love all of that so let's just get into these gorgeous scents i think I'll get into the brittles first just because they are right here so the first one I have here is unicorn poop and I do like how these came to me in this like resealable bag nothing fancy but it's handy because you can just chuck it in there and it will stay this stays up quite well so you can just put this in the little bag once you've used it and if you want to you can then 
store it away you know whether that be in your drawer if you've got like a wax collection put it in there whatever but it's easy to store you know and it's just I, I don't like it when you I mean I love um when companies give you something to put the wax in I hate it when I've had companies before just send me something in a paper like tissue bag which is nothing wrong with that so you can always buy some bags and put it them in there yourself but it's really annoying because you can't keep seal the scent in as much can you so you know if it's like a tissue paper bag I don't think it's as good as when you get something like this or like the little pots that you know like this where it's all resealable as well so like I said the first fragrance was unicorn poop and it came in this brittle and all of these brittles were so so pretty let me just oh it smells so nice let me just open this up and I'll try and put this close to the camera ish without it sort of can you see that how pretty is that brittle I'll, I'll go a little bit closer but I'm very conscious of sometimes it blurs if I go too close how gorgeous is that so i've got really really decent weight of this as well and this to me oh it smells absolutely gorgeous but to me a gorgeous sweet fizzy scent to me it smells of you know those refreshers bars you used to get it reminds me of those so kind of fizzy fruity um a little bit of um lemony in there as well Oh, it just smells absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Like a really, really fizzy, fruity chew. But there's definitely like a fizzy undertone to this scent. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, the, the um, scent throw was a high medium, I'd say. Uh, definitely a high medium getting onto the strong side. I really, really enjoyed this scent. It did last a while, quite a long time. And also, um, it just looks so goddamn cute, doesn't it? It looks so, so lovely. So I really did enjoy Unicorn Poop. And anything with the name Unicorn on, I'm going to love it. <laughs> Now, Unicorn Poop was advertised as a scent overload of bubblegum, 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 candy clouds, fruit loop, and creamy raspberry lollipop. I definitely get the fruit loop in there with the refreshers bar. I definitely, definitely, definitely get that. A very, very slight bubblegummy scent, but to me, it definitely smells of fruit loops along with those refreshers bars. That's what it smells like to me. Obviously, we all smell scents differently, but I really enjoyed this scent. Brittle looks absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Now, the next one I have here is a Skittle Brittle Taste the Rainbow. Don't you just love those Skittles adverts at the minute? I know they're kind of weird, especially the one with like, what was he like, um, milking the, uh, what was it? I can't remember what blinking animal it was now. He was milking the giraffe. I know that is super, super crazy, but I blinking love it. So this is Taste the Rainbow and I'll show you how this looks. It may be a little bit broken up now because obviously I've snapped it to, you know, put in my burner. Because this was on top of the wax, but it's kind of a little broken. But can you see how pretty this is? Let me get a little bit closer. I'm sure that won't, that shouldn't blur out. But look at that. So, so cute. So, so gorgeous. And to me, this just smells of, you guessed it, Skittles. Oh, it smells absolutely lovely. This was a really, really strong scent. And so you have to imagine, if you had a bag of Skittles and you crushed them up, opened up the bag, smelt them, that is what this smells like. It's really, really true to life Skittles scent. I absolutely love it. It was definitely on the strong side. Wax looks gorgeous. It smells gorgeous. And I really, really enjoyed this one. So if you love Skittles, you definitely, definitely have to try that one. And my last brittle I have here is Childhood Dreams. Now, this is absolutely, again, a gorgeous, gorgeous looking wax. Um, I'll get this out and try and show you. It, came, it comes in like two different colours, the brittle. They're quite thick chunk and they're quite soft. And um, this is like a bluey, let me just try and get these out, like a pink and a blue. And I've obviously I've broken these up now, so I'm used to them in my burners. So they came like this. Can you see that lovely kind of metallic -y, um sheen to them? It's a really, really gorgeous. Now, let me just see if I can get a bit closer and show you how gorgeous these look. Can you see them? Get lovely bits of glitter on now. I don't want to get any glitter all over the floor, so I'm just shut that back in the bag. And here is the pinky lilac -y colour one, but a lovely kind of metallic -y sheen. And then you also, it's like a slightly um, pinkier on that side and more purpley this side or lilac -y love this one so much now this one to me smelt of candy floss and bubble gum that's what it smelt of to me you more so bubble gum like a hubba bubba bubble gum than bubble gum bubble gum 
than candy floss but you definitely picked up a candy floss undertone along with gorgeous bubble gum this was super super strong and i really 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 enjoyed this and absolutely loved it um again really really easy to break up easy to get out of my burner and this scent lasted a good fair amount of time and this was definitely on the medium high to getting onto the strong side and again another wax that i absolutely absolutely loved now that scent was advertised as a, be a beautiful blend of candy floss bubble gum and cherry and cher chewy not cherry chewy marshmallow i definitely picked up a very very slight tad scent of marshmallow in there not too much but you definitely the main scent of that is bubble gum with a little bit of, can of a candy floss undertone so a gorgeous gorgeous scent so let's get into another one i don't i can't find scent descriptions of all of them so the ones i can find i'll talk to you about otherwise you're just going to have to take my word for it so the next one i have here is a little sort of scent pot and this was in sweet memories now let me just show you this so it's like this comes in a good these you know sort of store your wax in there and reseal it up obviously i've melted half of this but i'll try and it's like a lovely yellowy and orangey um malted um kind of effect there like a marbled effect so and if you look to the side it's darker it's darker sort of like a pinky ready peachy color at the top and a more yellowy color at the bottom now this to me oh i love this one this to me just smell of like rhubarb and custard sweets you know those rhubarb and custard sweets you used to get we still get them now but i'd say it's a little bit more on the rhubarb side maybe with a little hint of raspberry in there this was one of my favorite scents it was really really strong i could smell it all over my front room you know and i've got quite a large living space at the minute and it was oh my gosh smell so blinking gorgeous and i could as soon as i opened my door i was like whoosh you know it just smelled so so lovely and the scent lasted a really long time so if you love any rhubarb and custody kind of scents you definitely should try sweet memories absolutely absolutely gorgeous okay now the next scent i have here is called comforted again in a shop pot kind of style and this is just a mm, love this one this is just a oh gosh don't want it bits to fall but just a plain pink wax so if you can see that there again a very very soft wax this one was and uh, a very very sweet scent yet yet again it reminded me a little bit of jelly beans this might not be how everyone smells these as but this is me i can't find i don't think a scent description for this one but this reminded me of jelly beans i'm, try, I'm trying to think of the sweet it was it was um kind of like jelly tots jelly beans and oh what are those other ones they were square sweet and really really chewy i don't know if they were round trees it'll probably come to me in a minute but it's really really gonna bug me that i can't remember those blinking sweets but a really nice sweetie scent with like a raspberry undertone really really enjoyed it oh it smells so so good so yeah like jelly tots like a sweeter jelly tots if that makes sense with a lo lovely kind of raspberry and strawberry undertone absolutely love this scent again really really strong and i really really enjoyed it the next one i have here is called saved now this is a more bakery fied kind of scent to me again in a nice shop pot style and i've used and I just used a little sliver of it because I was melting this one in my hallway and this was like a red of like yellowy try and can you see that yellowy kind of glittery bits on the yellowy greeny color glittery bits on the top try and get a little bit closer oh and this oh do you know what this smelt of to me bakewell tart just smelt of a gorgeous fruit a bit more fruity though if that makes sense so a bakewell tart a little bit more fruitier and a, but you do pick up on the crust of like a some kind of bakery crust in there oh i absolutely love that but to me that just smells of a bake or top oh i have a bit of marzipan in there as well i absolutely love this one again really really strong really really enjoyed that scent so the next scent i have here is called nova again in one of those shop pot styles i'll get this a bit closer but this is gorgeous gorgeous looking wax look it's like a yellow with all this gorgeous glitter on the top can you see that try and get a bit closer for you but that is so 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 beautiful and another gorgeous sweet scent remember i did ask i did say i preferred everything kind of sweet so that is definitely what i got oh this is gorgeous this reminds me of drumstick lollies a little bit of bubble gum 
and a little bit of fruity citrus if that makes sense and it was a medium scent this one I'd say this one was a little bit less strong than the others out of all the scents I've got here I'd say this is definitely the weaker one but if you like fruity kind of sweety scents and you don't want to be too overpowering this would be a really good choice for you because it's not too bad in your face but you still really really smell it don't get me wrong but it's not just like a it's not a super super strong one but I really really enjoyed this I absolutely loved how this looked I mean how pretty is that all that gorgeous glitter on there really really easy to break up and put in my burner but another gorgeous gorgeous scent and I think I have a couple more maybe just one more let me just have a look in here right so I have two more here to show you and the next one is called Elsa Brie again come in a lovely shop pot and this had some more sort of gorgeous lovely glittery designs on the top I'm gonna have to hold these both bits here if you can see that can you see very very gorgeous bright pink barbie pink color oh and again this is a very this is a bakery scent with what it sounds like to me you get like a bakery cakey scent a little bit of lemon a little bit of drumstick lollies and a little bit of marzipan i mean i may i may sound absolutely crazy and a little bit of candy floss in there oh it's just a lovely creamy and also yeah like a creamy scent to it as well really really nice again another very 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 strong scent really really enjoyed it and the last but not least scent i have here is called drumstick lollies now oh i remember having those drumstick lollies as a child and they're all getting stuck in my hair but really annoying for my mum but like just just like rock have you ever had rock when you were little always used to get stuck in my hair so this is drumstick lollies those are they called they by matzels i can't remember who does the sweets but oh this is it smells of a really really strong drumstick lolly i'm not sure if this is a show on camera but this is oh it's really hard to show you a very very pale pink and like a whitey colored sort of marbled effect wax very very faint but you know i mean you might pick it up then it's slightly pinkier when you cut into it if you can see that there if you can see that but this is like a very very strong drumstick lollies don't get me don't get you wrong because the drumstick lolly scent is actually quite mild but this is that like times three which is really really good so you get like the sweet scent like the milky sweet scent with like a bit of cream in there with a bit of maybe sort of faint kind of strawberry kind of scent in there as well but all right and a very very creamy scent this is as well but again this was very very strong i'd say on the high end of medium going into the low end of strong all of these waxes lasted a really really long time and yeah i mean if you love the drumstick lolly scents try this one you're absolutely absolutely gonna love it so that is my review for you of jaded scents as i said i'll leave all of her details in the description box down below so if you want to go and have a nose you can obviously i'm not paid for doing any of these reviews um you know all of my opinions are my own i'm very very honest and yeah i really enjoyed this wax i love the presentation even you know like the little what's it bits you know little padding you get in with like some products you buy i call them what's it's even those are all colored can you see so 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 sweet gorgeous presentation a really lovely lady she'll answer any questions if you have any about her wax she's really really helpful really really nice and yeah go and have a look at her page and see if you can find anything on there you like and if you do find anything do say that you know you found them via my channel i'd love for you to try them and let me know what you think of them anyway there's enough of me rambling on i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you you know please as i said please please do let me know if you try any of these i'd love to hear from you please subscribe if you're new and hit the bell notification button and i hope you have a lovely day